Stella Brown and I put together this art installation with the Chicago Park District. They were looking for someone to like activate the walls in some way and specifically these windows. Um, and we are at Southworks at Steelworkers Park. Um, and so the project that I've done involves the geology of Southworks and specifically the Anthropocene geology. So the man-made uh, part of the site. And since the site is mostly slag dumped into the lake from the steelworks from US Steel that was here, um, a lot of the rocks that I've collected and um, assembled here are slag or other things that went into the steel making process or came out of it. Um, and so I've got these bins here kind of open for people to touch and look at and do whatever they want with. Um, and then I've mounted some rocks more formally up in the windows here. Uh, and these are all things that I found on the site or on the lakefront. Um, and I also, because this site is human made, uh, and, I make, and I wanted to acknowledge the human geology of the site. I wanted to include the human history. Um, and so I've talked a lot with people from the area and experts in various fields to kind of put together um, some information about how this place was formed and what it kind of means now. Um, so there's also a text that will be offered um, for people to take away. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, there's a lot more to say, but that's the <laughs> that's the general idea. The baskets that you have here on display, yeah. how did you go about accumulating the material that you put in there? What were in you the doing? baskets? In the baskets. Um, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do when I first came to the site, but just in exploring like just the lakefront and kind of down inside the walls, there's so many rocks just sitting on the surface. Like I didn't have to dig down at all. This is all just kind of up here on the surface. Um, and my, a lot of my art and my projects have to do with kind of like collecting and assembling things. Um, and so I think I wanted to assemble this mass, like this amount of each type of rock to kind of show what's here. And I think it's one thing to put, you know, like one piece of slag or one piece of concrete from the ore wall, but it's another thing to like show the amount that you can and I, this is just like a drop in the bucket. You know, I wish they were gigantic, but I'm one person. <laughs> so it was yeah. a walk, look, and pick up? Walk, look, and pick up, yeah. Um, I, I explored the north side of Southworks across the slip. Um, and there's this really pretty little beach that's kind of formed on the breakwater where a lot of these kind of uh, tossed, like aged rocks have come up. Um, and there's some really, because they haven't put a clean cap on that side, there's some really cool slag over there too, that kind of like glassy, bubbly stuff that you don't find so much over here. Um, and then a lot of exploring just on the lake shore itself where it's almost like, I feel like you can almost see like the stratigraphy of the site, like these layers that have accumulated that they, from dumping and then putting, you know, even like the, I think the debris from the demolition and the, because there's lots of bricks and stuff there and then the clean cap and you can kind of see it all there and it's just kind of like exploding out from the cliff. Yeah. We have a history that Chicago Grant Park is built on the old city that burned down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in, a, in my research I found some great, I spoke with a geologist, George Roadcap at the um, ISGS, so it's a hyd uh, hydro uh, hydrology survey and he pointed me towards some really great maps that show specifically the Calumet region exactly where the made land is and what it's made of, when it was made, and what thickness it's at. So there's like some really great maps. Yeah. So how long will this be on display here? This will be on display for maybe about a year, at least till next summer, um, and then kind of to be determined. <laughs> and I'm hoping that we can do some programming around it. I've spoken with possibly the uh, Southeast Historical Museum about doing like a pop-up with some of their steel making artifacts if they're interested. Um, and maybe even doing like a screening on one of the walls 
anytime anyone wants to come out here, I will show up. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> so we can give them your email address? And absolutely. Yeah, 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 absolutely. What will be happening then this afternoon? I saw, saw a mention of barbecue, if I recall. There will be a barbecue. We have Chicago style hot dogs. <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to, I feel like especially because I'm not part of this neighborhood or community, but people have, people have been so welcoming to me. Um, that I really wanted to make sure that this was interesting to them and welcoming to them. Um, so I live up in Logan Square, and I think most of the people, most of the people I know and that I would invite from my little network of people are from the north side. But I was hoping that by making this kind of like a barbecue, it's in the park, that people from the neighborhood would come. And I hope I think the word's gotten passed around a little. It has. Yeah. Good. It has. <laughs> Good. Stella, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah.